Hey everybody, how you doing? Mr. Bookman here, and today I will be reading The Boy and the Bear by Tracy Cord Duroy and illustrated by Sarah Massini. Please enjoy. The boy and his and the bear. Once upon a time there lived a boy who wanted to play. But all the best games like seesaw and catch and hide and seek needed two to play, and the boy was all alone. There was a bear, but bear was a bear, not a boy who played it, wanted to play. Besides, bear was shy, too shy even to say hello. Then one summer morning, as the boy sat alone, a paper boat bobbled across the water. On the boat was a message that said, but who would say boo, wondered the boy. Oh, a best friend would say boo. That's who. He quickly wrote back, and he sailed the boat across the water. Then what should come back but another boat? Yes, wrote the boy, and... He waited and waited. Then, now, came the reply. And out came... Bear! Oh, it's you, the boy sighed. I thought it might be a best friend. Bear hung his head and turned to go. Wait, called the boy. Come back. Would you like to play hide and seek? With a eager nod, Bear tiptoed off to hide, and the boy started to count. Ready or not, he shouted, here I come. But Bear wasn't very good at hide and seek, and he was too heavy for seesaw. The next day they tried catch, but that didn't work either. Bear couldn't play the boy's game. You'll just have to think of something else, the boy said. Then, one autumn morning, Bear did think of something. He started to build. A tree house. Can I help? asked the boy. He passed Bear the logs, and Bear tied them in place. And at last, they finished the tree house together. A bear making a tree house. <laughs> there was a window to gaze out of at the moon and a chair big enough for two. Oh, bear, look. Well, we made, the boy said, it's perfect. They stayed in their treehouse until the leaves trembled down and the first snowfall snowflake fell. Then one winter morning the bear the boy found a small frozen boat on the pond. No the boy cried Bear Bear But there was no bear anywhere. The boy thought of his friend, thought the Long, chilly days and the dark, starry nights. He waited all through winter. Bear, where are you? Are you asleep? But the boy words frozen solid on the icy pond. Then one spring morning, as the sun rose, the Boy saw three boats bobbling on the water. I'm awake. Missed you. Are you there? 
Yes, I am here, shouted the boy, but where are you? And out of the trees came the boy's best friend. Bear. <laughs> How many of you have had a best friend that you enjoyed and stuff? And do you still contact them? Let me know with a thumbs up if you have a best friend that you contact that lives far away or something that you can't see. Well, everybody, I hope all of you enjoyed this story time. And I want to say thank you very much for watching and enjoying. And everyone out there, you have a good one and a safe one. Until next time, I am Mr. Bookman. And this story time is over. Have a good one, everybody. And take care.